Let's cover the fifth set for the prelims 2022 GS solution. So the first question here talks about the monetary policy. Now important to note the tight monetary policy of US Federal Reserve could lead to a uh, capital flight as the money supply would get reduced. So this is correct this is something that we have covered in the sections on microeconomics now the capital flight may increase the interest cost of the firms with existing external commercial borrowings uh, again a correct statement but the devaluation of the domestic currency would increase not decrease would increase the risk associated with the external commercial borrowing so three is incorrect so as uh, the ecb is paid in foreign currency a depreciating rupee increases the currency risk so that's very important to note so one and two are the correct options here now coming on to the next t producing estate now it's not said the major or the minor so all of these are producing estate so a direct question from geography of india the next is the credit rating agencies credit rating agencies are regulated by sebi so the first answer uh, first choice is incorrect the credit uh, agency known as icra is a public limited company that's correct and brickwork rating is one of the seven credit rating agencies now this has been facing sbi investigations recently and was in news there are six other uh, credit rating agencies uh Chrysal is important then we have care uh, fitch infometrics uh, acquit are uh, some of the uh, important ones okay acquit are some of the important ones and you, then there is also infometrics so these are important credit rating agencies now uh, in us we usually talk a lot about credit rating agencies and therefore this concept has gained importance recently now uh, the uh, bank bureau board uh, the banks board bureau sorry the bbb uh, is the chairman is uh, is is nominated by the government uh, is basically uh, approved by the government of india and is not the governor of the rbi uh, it recommends the selection for the head of the public sector bank and helps in developing strategies and capital raising plans so uh, plan so here you have three expert members and uh, three uh, three ex officio members who are part of the bank's board bureau right so two and three are the right options for this question the next is convertible bonds now uh, as there is an option to convert the bond for equity convertible bonds usually come up with low interest rate now convertible bond is what it is a fixed income corporate debt security that gives you an interest payment now when it gives you an interest payment you need to understand that conversion from bond to stock to could be done in any number of durations within the life of that bond and there is uh, and who can decide that it's the bond holder so if i am the bond holder i can decide whether uh, how many number of times i can convert it from bond to stock and therefore it's called as convertible so the option to convert uh, to equity affords the bond holder a degree of indexation to the rising customer consumer prices and that's correct so both of these statements are the correct statements here the next is uh, among the following india is member of all of these three so all of these three important international organizations every time you have questions related to one or two international organizations so just refer the study material uh, that we have covered in detail which covers the major organizations and india being member to which all organizations the next is very important question now this is in line with bringing in foreign investment so a lot of foreign investment going on to vietnam so we need to understand why this has been the scenario and therefore this is one of the questions so vietnam is one of the fastest growing economies with low labor cost stable exchange rate it has brought many manufacturers into the region and uh, the economic growth is linked to uh, the global supply chain and exports but it is a single party political system not a multi-party political system and it's mainly a socialist republican system and the production is not mainly the e-services right so one three and four are the 
correct options for this question are important question for next year as well in india which of the following is responsible for maintaining price stability price stability can be maintained uh, by controlling inflation that is controlling the repo rate slr uh, then uh, understanding the money supply who inflows that bank of uh, the the central bank of india which is the reserve bank of india so rbi is the right option again something that we have covered in macroeconomics as i said 90% of the question from economics were from microeconomics non fungible tokens we have covered in our class on budget analysis very very important this was uh, the time when budget analysis had the issue of non fungible token and this is uh, a token that enables digital representation of a physical asset and is a unique cryptographic token that exists on a blockchain so both of these statements are correct but it cannot be traded or exchanged at equivalency so 3 is incorrect 1 and 2 are the correct statements the next is which of the reservoirs are located where so ghat prabha is located in karnataka so the first one is in karnataka it is incorrect gandhi sagar is in madhya pradesh that is correct indra sagar is on narda river again in madhya pradesh so it's again incorrect and methon dam is on jharkhand so again incorrect okay so uh, the question says not correctly matched so read the question carefully three of the pairs are not correctly matched only one of the pair which is gandhi sagar madhya pradesh is correctly matched here so read the question carefully most of the questions were correctly matched this was a question not correctly matched now statistical office focuses on the statistical data promotion of industry as the name suggests focuses on promoting the industries labor bureau is one which works with the issues of labor the disputes the closures the retrenchments the layoffs uh, in the factory and therefore labor bureau is the right answer here the next question is coal controllers organization now coal controllers organization uh, is one of the major source of coal statistics in government of india it monitors the development of the captive and the lignite blocks it hears any objection to the government's notification related to acquisition of the coal bearing areas but it does not focuses on the delivery right so 1 2 and 3 are the important aspects and i would request you to go through the coreli uh, control rules 2014 extremely important for your next year and the coal mines amendment rule 2011 so again an important topic that you must cover for next year as well now coming under uh, the topic of fifth schedule of the constitution of india as a result of the fifth schedule of the constitution of india it can create a local self governing body in the area and article 2 244 one of the constitution talks about the scheduled area uh, which is to be declared by the president and the special provisions under the para 4 of the fifth schedule focuses on uh, making the region independent for uh, governance purpose the next is which of the following statements are correct so here uh, the indian sanitation coalition works along with fiki which is the federation of indian chamber of commerce and industry uh, the national institute of urban affair is the apex body for ministry of housing and urban affairs and provides innovative solutions for urban uh, india for the challenges of urban india so two only is the right option the next question is which has been constituted under environmental protection act 1986 so under the 1986 it's the central ground water authority extremely important it is a subordinate office of ministry of jal shakti and one of the major uh, agencies which works for uh, the input for scientific explorations of ground water the assessment and the regulation of the resources in the country the next is un credentials committee now un credential committee has its regular meeting is starting with the general assembly of the un so that's from the september so the second choice is incorrect so it it is a committee which has been uh, which has the credentials of all the un members before submitting the report to the general assembly for approval and it is the part of the un general assembly not the security council right so again one is incorrect so one and two are incorrect three is the correct choice so three only is the right option here 
the next question the polar code a very direct question it's an international code for the safety of ships operating in polar waters and this has been brought by international maritime organization in 2014 it talks about the regulations for the ships to enter into polar water relating to ice navigation and the design of the ship the next is with reference to un general assembly another question from international organizations extremely important un general assembly can grant observer status to even non member states international uh, intergovernmental organization can seek the observer status in un assembly and permanent observers in un assembly can maintain the mission at un headquarters all of these three are the correct statement and this is something that we have covered in our sections on uh, international organization are more to read about it and less to know uh, less to like uh, explain so it's uh, more about uh, reading and remembering the facts now t board is a statutory body and has overseas office in dubai and moscow the headquarters are located at kolkata and the regulatory body follows under the ministry of commerce so 2 and 3 are incorrect 1 and 4 are the correct options for this question and the last question in this set talks about green washing now this as the name suggests is uh, washing away so basically it's giving you a false impression that the company is using eco friendly methods and e environmentally sound products but it's actually not and this term is what is called as green washing so those were some of the questions that we have discussed below are the links for more details and more uh, important help for you wish you very good luck for your preparation have a wonderful day ahead